homemade printed circuits by the method of ironing. The making of printed circuits by thermal transfer is a pretty cheap technique used to create prototypes or printed circuits of medium complexity. Materials Thermotransferable paper You can use photo paper or propacol paper. The impression should only be done with a laser printer. Bakelite Plastic phenotypic foil covered with a copper foil, which will print the drawing board. Ferric chloride, corrosive compound used for developing the PCB. Chisel, tool used for cutting bakelite. Electric iron, used to iron the drawing board until it's transferred to the bakelite. Steel wool pad, used to clean the copper film Bakelite virgin. Drill, used to drill holes where the legs or pins enter the components on the PCB. Bits, this should be of different sizes, depending on the thickness of the legs of the components. Rosin, natural resin that when mixed with paint thinner, you get a solution to protect the form from rust. Procedure The first step is to print the printed circuit pattern on the propacol paper or the thermotransferable paper using a laser printer. The drawing must be in mirror mode, meaning the opposite of how the form it will be. If it's not reversed, the form will be the other way around, making all this labor futile. We now proceed to cut the drawing, leaving a tap of about 5 mm on each side. You have a margin of error for the time to move the drawing to the bakelite. With a sharp chisel and a steel ruler, we take as our guide the drawing of the circuit board and we cut the bakelite at the same size. We sand the bakelite's edge, the burring the remaining copper leaving after the cutting. This is done so when we iron the boards don't find any obstacles to a uniform pressure plate, preventing good adhesion of the paper to the bakelite. We wash the bakelite with soap and water degreaser. Then, with a steel wool pad we shine the copper until it is spotless without any fingerprints or grease. This is very important for good adhesion of the design on the Bakelite. We place the printed circuit pattern on a sheet of paper. We put the Bakelite version over the drawing facing the drawing with the copper and we ensure paper, drawing and bakelite with a piece of masking tape. With the iron on his highest temperature, we iron for 15 minutes. Emphasis should be pushing at the edges and the center.
From the pressure and uniformity with which this process is done depends the quality of our printed circuit. Remove the sheet of paper we use to isolate the drawing board. We soak in cold water the Bakelite with the paper attached. After 10 minutes, the paper should be damp enough to be able to remove it carefully. If you notice that the paper cannot be removed easily, dip the card for another 5 minutes. With your fingertips, remove the paper leaving the ink added to the copper. Do not use nails, because can raise and spoil the printed ink. To remove the paper's small gaps between the tracks or holes, may use a needle to soften the paper. Be careful not to damage the tracks. So we have removed all the paper, leaving the impression of the drawing on the copper. In a plastic container, add a small amount of ferric chloride. We add hot water, be careful, this is corrosive. We immerse the bakelite. Gently shake the time necessary to remove the ferric chloride copper in areas not covered by the ink. We see the printed circuit appears and disappears the excess copper. After wash the board with thinner to remove the ink. Then rise it with soap and degreaser. If for some reason are colliding tracks, separate copper, removing the excess with a knife. Check the paper against the light. Then drill all the holes where are going to be embed components. Use the appropriate drill bit according to the thickness of the legs of each component. Clean the card again with a steel wood pad to give a shine and a smooth finish. Besides this, prevent corrosion in case there is any remain trace of ferric chloride. We dilute the rosin in thinner and apply on the card to brighten and protect it from oxidation. We have our printed circuit board. We hope this tutorial is very useful. Success! 